Welcome to another Autoricambi video. Today we will be installing a 95 amp alternator on a Fiat Spider 2000, uh, also known as 124 Spider. And when we get the alternator, we get the alternator. The wiring is uh, already installed. And then we get the lower bolt and the upper bolt. Uh, this is an alternator wire boot that I bought separately. It uh, goes over here once the wires from the car are installed and I think it's just a good idea. Some people have said that one doesn't need 95 amps uh, on a Fiat Spider and that's true. On most cases one does not. However, the advantages of this alternator is not necessarily how many amps it can put out but that it puts out about one more volt than the stock alternator. Uh, stock, uh, the Bosch alternator puts out about 13.6, 13.7 13 volts, while this alternator puts out about 14.6, 14.7 volts. So all the accessories get a little, little bit more voltage and they just work better, the fans run faster, the lights are brighter and everything just works better. A lot of customers have told us that this is the best upgrade they have done on their spider. First step is to remove the wires from the back of the alternator. There is one that's a blade terminal, that's a female terminal that gets goes on the back of the alternator. That's one of those, it's for the light on the dash. And then there is a 10 millimeter nut That's the power output of the alternator. And I'm using a gear wrench to get it out, but the regular wrench would work just fine. And of course, we had disconnected the battery. And this car has two wires on one terminal, but sometimes it's two separate terminals. Sometimes it's even three if someone has installed some relays. Next, we need to remove the upper bolt and then the lower bolt. The upper one is 17 millimeter. Next, we will loosen the lower bolt that's uh, 19 and I'm going to feel where it is, there it is. And now we can remove the belt. There's our U joint and 90 millimeter. Now we need to remove the lower bolt and then that will allow us to lift out the alternator. Uh, the only thing is sometimes we can just barely get it out and sometimes it just barely won't come out. Oh, well this was easy. Sometimes it hits the radiator before it comes out. should just lift but there we go before I forget I'm going to install the rubber boot on the wires so that I'm sure that I will not forget about this later Here 
here's our new alternator. I will set it in place and then get the lower bolt and then have to play with it then I lift it up and find there we go find a hole in the mount over mount Now we just need to get the bolt started in the back side of the alternator. This bolt is actually 10mm diameter versus the old one that's a 12. And so to keep the alternator from rocking, we are going to tighten this not super tight but just enough to hold the alternator steady while we finish the installation no back and forth motion so this is a good time to put the belt on it will be maybe now or later but and the same size belt will work as long as it's not stretched. Okay. I'm going to put this back. Put the washer on first. And then the nut. And you can see there is a gap here. That's why we have some extra washers. Let's tighten this but again I'm going to tighten it just so it doesn't wobble now it's time to install our bolt the lock washer goes on first then the two large washers go against the bracket so we install one first we put it through, install the other one, and then the smaller washers to space it out. And this bolt takes a 30 millimeter wrench. Now I will tighten the lower bolt. Feel it with my fingers where it is and put the socket on. Then finish tightening the bracket inner nut. And now we just have to connect the wiring. The wiring is very simple, uh, mostly because everything on the alternator came installed. This plug is already plugged in, this one's plugged in, and then the yellow, yellow wire goes over to the output stud. So the original alternator had a single wire with a female terminal uh, going to the back of it. This is for the light on the dash, and this gets plugged in to this green wire with a male terminal from the alternator. Uh, and then on the output stud, that's a 10 millimeter nut, we get the black wires with the ring terminal. And originally each one would have its own uh, ring terminal, but somebody here has uh, put a single one on and so this gets put over here and then this gets connected to the green wire 